Alright, good day. This is Michael with Iconosis. Today we'll be doing another real-time workflow video communicating shooting artifacts uh, in 360. We have a lot of customers in the uh, museum industry and also those uh, doing archaeology that uh, are looking to represent their products digitally uh, in more than just uh, still images. So we'll be doing an interactive 360 display of this product that we have um, I've connected my camera via USB. You can see my hand going back and forth in front of my camera. That is a real-time preview. We're working with our Shutterstream 360 software, one of our USB controlled turntables, and one of our lighting systems. I'll include more information in the video description below on the exact setup I'm using. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here with this uh, real-time demo. Let me just zoom my camera out. That is a manual zoom in, zoom out. Um, Okay, so my first thing what I want to do here is, this is again a real-time preview. I want to start to optimize my camera settings for my lighting environment. Let me just snap a quick picture here. We can see that looks uh, pretty well overexposed. We can also see there's a couple lights that I'm using up front. We won't want those in the frame. So we're going to make a couple adjustments inside of here. Uh, first and foremost to our camera settings. And we'll start to try to find the correct camera settings for our, uh, for our lighting environment. So I'm going to just shoot a couple uh, couple sample images here just to see what uh, what looks good um, one thing I will note is what looks good on my monitor might be a little bit different than uh, kind of what you see on your monitor so uh, just keep that in mind um, that looks very good as far as color accuracy that's the most important thing I want to do here I'm not so worried about the background I can take that out in our editing tool on a batch process after the fact um, so I've adjusted my camera settings they look pretty good here next thing I can do is actually adjust my focal point so I go ahead and zoom in nice and up close and by clicking these focal point arrows left and right I can start to bring stuff back into focus near and far and I'm going to set that fixed focal point. Uh, my next step after that will be to enter into the 360 shooting mode and pre-rotate my turntable. Now it's in this step that I want to ensure A my object is spinning on axis in the center of the turntable. Uh, one thing I'll mention in this case is this artifact is actually leaning forward a bit so I'm actually going to watch the feet here to ensure that I position it uh, accurately. If I did watch the upper half of the body, it would look like it's wobbling, but uh, that's just the way that uh, this, uh, this artifact is being crafted. The other thing that I'm doing while in this step is adjusting my crop marker. So again, we can see the lights on either side of the, uh, the, the frame here. Um, this rectangle that I'm defining uh, by click and drag, as you can see here, I'm shooting the area that I wish to uh, really I, I don't wish to shoot the entire frame I like to pre-crop and say only take a picture of what's inside this area so that looks pretty good there I'll go ahead and stop it at my first frame and I'll say okay looks good we're now ready to start shooting inside of the turntable shooting mode you can shoot from 8 up to 72 images we do have turntables with more capability up to uh, over a thousand frames if required. Uh, for most e-commerce and web imaging applications we typically suggest 2436 and I will hit start. Now that's going to actually let me before I even start that sequence I'm just going to delete these three images from the bottom that I shot because I won't need those anymore and we'll hit start and that's going to automate our imaging sequence in a turn stop snap workflow. So there we can see image number one is being captured upload it to the computer the turntable will then turn um, X number of degrees since I chose 24 frames it'll turn 15 degrees stop and then capture 24 frames is going to take about uh, just under two minutes and again that's completely automated okay so we're finalizing the capture here looks like we have one frame left and we'll get enough notification that the 360 image capture is complete we can go ahead and inspect individual frames if required uh, what I'll do is actually select all of these using the select all button and enter into our editing tool. Uh, what I'm going to want to do here, just for a nice display, I'm probably going to want to show with a pure white background. Uh, so we'll give this just a second here. Those images will be uploaded into the editing tools. And the tool that I'm actually going to use is our white point uh, picker tool. So I'm going to go and choose a dark pixel. And that's going to turn every pixel that's lighter than that into pure white. Now what I can actually do is hit apply to all. So in a batch process, it'll race through and clean all those images onto pure white backgrounds. Now that we've completed our editing step, uh, our very last step will be to output these images. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, rename this. We'll just call this artifact. 
and uh, we can choose the battery size so maybe we want all these at say 600 pixels wide we'll enter that value in there choose our output location it's going to also batch rename them during the output process I will hit OK and that will start the output process as you can see it's very quick here And then our very last step will be to create our 360 view. Included with the Shutterstream 360 software is the 360 view creator. Users can simply drag and drop their set of frames inside of the 360 view creator application. And as you can see, you can get an interactive 360 product view. So essentially what users would do is just maybe select a, uh, you know, information on how they want to output this. Maybe it's a thousand pixels tall. Okay, uh, users can fully customize these. They can choose the, the look and feel of the buttons and really all that's required, uh, you know, a zoom in, zoom out, um, customize, uh, you know, exactly for, uh, for the requirements. But basically this is what we've created here, interactive 360 view that uh, we can then go and drop on our web servers and share with, uh, with anyone that we require. We'll just call this artifact and we'll save it to artifact folder and we'll take a look at that final output here. And then we'll view this in a web browser. We'll take a look, and uh, that's what we've created here in just uh, in just a few minutes. Interactive 360 product view, fast, efficient, very easy, very high quality results. Do it yourself. Really, no experience required as well. Thank you very much. Let us know if there's any questions.